Hi guys, I thought I'd do a little university room tour because I've seen those people do it and I thought it'd be really interesting and for me to look back on in a couple of years so I thought I'd take you around my little room. It's um it's a one bedroom room. One bedroom for me. Um I know lots of like universities have like dorms and things, but this is just a one room I don't share with anybody. And I have a wardrobe, bathroom and everything I need, so I thought I'd take you around. Okay, so this is what you see as, you, as soon as you walk in. Pan up a little bit. Okay, so in here is my bathroom. But I just wanted to show you the my back of my door. I always put stuff on here that I need to take into the kitchen because my kitchen is just around the corner. Where should we start? Okay, so if I go to my wardrobe, this is what it looks like. And then we open it. Oh my clothes. I keep all my everyday clothes along here and then we get into some coats and some jumpers and then some clothes I don't really wear that often and we keep going cardigans and like specific clothing and then at the very back down there are some coats and some bags um, I still have my Christmas decorations there that's the tree I have I've not been able to get it back yet that little bin there is from Primark and it's my laundry. My new gorgeous gold next shoes and a suitcase that I need to take back home and just have my shoes in now so they're out of the way. And then on the top shelf, hair things and then we have some um, like extra clothes in there that aren't really useful. Um, nail varnish and then I have my shellac here, the sensation nail thing here, my pink DMs. And just tons of bags and scarves. There's no really order for them. And then just live in there. That's my wardrobe. Oh, and I have a tiny little Thor. Can you see that? I don't know. But yeah, I have that up there. And then my bathroom. The usual towels and then like a shelf. Shower. What do they call it? <laughs> Sink and then just some extra things. And this is on the on here, so I remind myself to take it out. So I have to take it off the so loose use it obviously. So I put it on there to remind me to take it out to the bin. And um it was the rose my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. It's all dead now though, which is really a shame. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Now we come into the main part. If we turn this way, we have all my like everyday coats really, and a scarf my grandma got me from India. It's gorgeous. My favourite colour is blue, definitely. And if you pan down, this joy bag has Christmas presents in. I know, I know. It's March. And we still haven't done our Christmas presents. Um, it's all the girls in my course. We've so all got each other like a secret Santa thing. So they're in there. And then my bed, it's full of teddies, even though I am 23, but you know, this one is Doug, uh, this one's, this one's Dog Dog, that's Dee Dee, that's Bunny, that's Henry, don't know what the elephant's called, that's Douglas, and then, then a cacti. So this cacti blanket is from Flying Tiger, and then there's a grey one here, you can kind of see it, from B&M. And then my Joy Jumper. And then this is from Ikea. That's from Primark. That's from Ikea. And my bedding is from TK Maxx. So yeah, I really like my little section. And then above it, we have some hearts and then some fairy lights. If I can turn them on, maybe you can see. Ah, look how cute that is. So yeah. So at night, when I come back to my room, I put my fairy lights on be in bed pretty sweet okay so moving on to my bedside table we have a lamp which the base is from Wilkinson this bit and then the, the shade is from B&Q and then I have the book I'm reading at the moment which is Recipe for Life by Nikki Pellegrino Pellegrina I don't know and then 
these rose gold beautiful hoops from John Lewis. And then we go down and I just have some like random bits, some jewellery that I wear a lot, a fisheye for my phone, um, just some random stuff really, like a money bank. And then in these two drawers is my pyjamas. And then we come back up and then my little carpet. And I've got my shoes in it. It normally has my slippers on it, but you know, I'm wearing them, so I thought I'd just show you. And then we come to my radiator, which is timed. Can you see that little box there? It's timed there. And this is what heats my whole entire room. And some little magnets on it that I love. And then we come to my window sill, which is my favourite part, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we have Orange Grove from the White Company to spritz my room with, and then some apples. One I think from um, USSR from ages ago, and then one my grandma got me. So they're there, and then a little Eiffel Tower. I think this one's from my first trip to Paris, and then a gold apple from from what's it from? From Tiki Max, and then under my dead daffodils. We have my Sprout Anthropology um, vase, which is really cute. And then we have this little Barry the Cactus from Topshop in Oxford Street. And then this little thing from Joy, which you may have jewellery on, but I don't want to put my jewellery in the window. These two cacti are from Ikea, and then the little dish they're on is a... Um, charity shop thing, they're like little cherry blossoms. This is from Anthropology, it's a little fox holding a vase. This is from Avon, but it's like really old, see so yeah, I got it from a charity shop. I actually have um, another one of these, but they're at my parents' house in my old room. This is a little Ikea one again, and my second trip to Paris, I got a little ice tower. And then this terrarium is from Joy as well, and it has some crystals that I bought years and years ago from like an aquarium and then like a speciality shop. And then this is another anthropology thing. It's it's for like tea lights and stuff, but in like every uni house, every uni room, you're not allowed candles, so I just have it to look pretty. So yeah, and also my lens cap for this camera. And then we move on to my desk. And then if I stand back a little bit, you can see more. So yeah. Okay, let's start this side. So we have tissues, some books that I finished reading that I'm going to give to charity, I think. It's Longbourn and Great Expectations. I um, got them at the Read Eat Blog meetup. And I've already like read them, so I'm going to give them charity. Lots of work and have them for next year and cosmopolitan oh there we go and then my keys to get in and then my sunglasses my sunglasses aren't actually Calvin Klein but um they didn't have the right case they're just Steve Madden ones and I love them they're actually in a blog post I wore them a couple of weeks ago when I was in London and I'll link that below if I remember and the cable for my um, laptop if I want to connect my phone obviously my laptop and the stand because I like the way it tilts better is from Ikea and then my case is marble there's pizza princess sticker and a pizza sticker and then my Bose sound system with my phone on and then a little dish thing what's going to say chopping board but it's too um I've cut my fingers on it too many times just from like using it when chopping too hard so I just use it to keep my drinks on now so the little glass in front is this little flamingo one um, that's from Ikea, and then this is a Death Trooper um, thermos class that my boyfriend got me for um, staying with him at the midnight release of the Nintendo Switch. It was very nice of him. <laughs> okay, so this is my cork board. These are all Beatles are from Flying Tiger, and this is a Valentine's Day card. This is a band that I like, um, Sticker. Buffalo Go, then Barry the Cactus, and then my friend Blake from college, we went in a photo booth, 
and then some like things for my boyfriend this is a beautiful card i think it's asparagus pea this is the um the what they've drawn is asparagus pea and it's edible flowers and it's an a and it's from liberty and then some stamps and then a thing to put a photo in but i've never done that yet and then some work i need to do my desk light and then obviously a random salt rock label and then this beautiful beautiful fringed rose gold coppery necklace that i should really wear more a tiny little moons on it and then a star choker and then me and my boyfriend and then a build a bear sticker with an i love you on a post-it so that's this main section and then up here I have all my like fashiony books and some like easy reading books. So I have Neon Angel, which is about the runaways, and then Mary Berry Cooking, and then Hunger Makes Me Modern Girl, Little Bunny Rabbit, The Book of Hague, Hag, Hag, I don't remember, and then Everything Worth Knowing, which is a good book. Obviously Amy Schumer, and then like his, um, Through the Looking Glass, which is like fashion to the fashion and life from 1860 to the present day there you go and the Vivian Westwood these little flowers are actually um, lights but I don't really use them and then we have the first bottle of wine we drank in this room me and my boyfriend to like celebrate me going to uni and me and my brother when we were little can you see that? I don't know. kind of oh excuse me and then a pisky and then a rabbit and then this is for your drinks while you're out you put your straw in it and then no one can drop stuff in your drink um and some other books and things and then i have um a mug my boyfriend got me because we say i love you to the moon and back a lot um jewelry this is a lulu guinness box that i think this came in and then this is one of the um Birch box I think and this is my jewellery box obviously some more stickers that I like from the same band and some of my jewellery that I wear and then some perfume some more pictures of my family that's my mum and my stepdad when they got married that's, let's do this that's me and my brother on a statue of a monkey that's me dressed as a shark and my brother as a pirate and then there's some beer pong put this back Obviously loads of blue tags, you need that. Bit pong and I think it has the yeah, still got the balls inside. And then a really cute print that I got from Fashionology and then another one of these, my Nando's receipt because I forgot my card so I need to transfer it over and then an empty thing. And this thing behind is from one of those like really random stores, but it's about root beer and I love root beer so much. Oh, it's the best. So yeah, that's this shelf. Okay, so now we are on the top shelf. Let's start from this side. So all my food, because it won't fit in my cupboard, so I have loads of pasta, which is a staple for a uni student. And then we get into like some sweet corn, some gravy, and then a nice New Year card. And then a massive basket of DVDs because I have a DVD player to plug into my laptop. Me and my boyfriend. And then some like trinkety things there. And obviously these clipper lights. Which I don't have enough pictures to put on them yet. So I just use them as like random lights when it's evening time. So yeah, that's my show. Okay, so now we're back down. I thought I'd show you that I have like these drawers so this these the top two are my uni work so i have lots of um like newspapers and magazines about fashion and then the bottom one is underwear and socks and tights and things and then the top one's makeup then this is like stationary like post-its new um what they call them envelopes and things like that and then the bottom one is big products that won't fit anywhere else so yeah I don't think that's a lot of storage really for everything I need. I think I need to do like a big old clear out. And obviously my bins and my dustpan and brush. And that's it. 
Okay, so that's the end of my room tour. I hope you enjoyed looking around my little piece of uni. Um, I hope to see more videos soon and it was nice to meet you all. Bye!